use the mechanical little trip tour. We are using this Olympus. It's a B system. Yeah, it's only used for the B scope. Okay, so all you need is this one. This is basically the handle. Uh, it's gonna make sense when we open the pocket. Okay, so you just need to make sure that this is working. Yeah, this actually off and on in there. You can see on and off. Yeah, so if it's off, it moves freely. Okay, when it's on, it do that. Yeah, it's gonna make it like a ratchet. I don't know if you know a ratchet, but that's how it should work. Yeah, so make sure that this is working first before you open the, the pocket. Yeah, because you're gonna need this one. So it goes hand in hand. Okay, so that's off. I think I need to stop saying okay. So that's off. Okay. I just said okay again. But anyway, that's working. Make sure that this is working first. Okay. Oh, Ibi, stop me saying okay. Yeah. Count okay. Yeah. How many times I said okay? So you need to make sure that this is, uh, you know, intact when it comes out of the pocket. You make sure that the expiry date is within date okay otherwise you cannot use this so it comes out of the pocket you open it up put it on the side so usually you have like uh, three people in the rcp room so you can ask your second assistant to help you you know you're not alone to do this don't you know think that you're on your own there's always somebody so when it comes out of the pocket this uh, black sheet that you need to remove okay so that's that's how it should come out of the pocket so there's this there's a lot of uh, things here that you make sure that it's in place okay one is this one this is uh, it's like a screw that you can use with the hand hand tight screw so next when it comes out of the pocket you need to pull this so this is like a stylet that you push in and out right so you need to make sure that that's close so the rationale behind that is your sure that your basket is against the white plastic sheet so basically there's two sheets in here there's two sheets so the plastic and the metal sheet okay so this would make sense later i'm now sure that the the basket is inside so the next bit is to attach the crushing device which is this one right so what i'm gonna do is i can ask someone to actually hold this or if you have a table put it on the table just put it on the table right i'm gonna hold this metal stylet push it in there until you hear that click it's really really uh, faint click that means that the mechanism here it catches the metal sheet yeah it catches like that to secure that you need to close this so this lock and unlock so you need to twist it clockwise so to make sure that the stylet or this piece of metal is attached as you can see here so it's moving up and down when i do this right so you need to align the yellow there's a yellow marker in here and then you align it with the mechanical little trip tool okay so until you hear the click that means you are ready to go so that's ready you need to make sure that when this is set up the basket is not out right so make sure that it's not out the rationale behind that is probably this is not properly in place okay so you, you can do that so make sure that it's when you finish setting it up make sure that you can open 
and close outside the patient right so when you're happy that it's opening and it's closing you can actually turn it on so it won't move okay so when you give it to the doctor you can if this is if this is off you can accidentally maybe push this and it opens the basket yeah so when you put it into on you're sure that when you give this to the doctor or to the clinician you are sure that this one is in place okay i'm gonna ask the uh my colleague uh evelina to hold we'll pretend that uh, we have a stone to crush so where's our stone so i'm gonna ask the assistance of my colleague i don't know if she wants to be on the video but there you go so we pretend that we go inside so we hand it to the clinician or to the doctor but we are confidently sure that this is so just to make sure that you know what's the function of the off and the on off and on marker in here okay so when i put it in on off sorry so it moves the basket freely just put it so it's opening and closing the basket freely okay so just make sure that you you've done that part right so give it to the doctor so the doctor will uh, put it inside the bile duct to crush the stone we pretend that that's the stone so the doctor will ask you open the basket so make sure that you dis disengage the ratchet okay otherwise this is this is the only way of you opening and closing the basket so basket open so doctor please catch the stone so jiggle 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 the doctor will tell you open and close several times until they happy to close so until they are happy that the stone is within the basket okay when they said close and when you see when you feel it has you know it's the feeling it's about feeling that there's resistance or not because if it if it goes through all the way that means you didn't catch or the, the stone is not in the basket okay so that's uh, I've got resistance in here so you then need to put the ratchet onto on okay so this won't move up and down right so when you when that is done you the clinician is happy you're happy that the stone is inside the basket we need to crush so to do that we need to put this metal sheet forward so what you're gonna do is unlock this so it's just a tiny bit of screws in there so not much so you just undo it and move it forward as you can see here so the metal sheet will go against the stone so that's the rationale behind of putting the sheet forward so it will press against the stone so when you've done that you need to say there's a resistance right so you need to lock this again this is screw yeah so when you've done that that means the stone is against the metal right so as you can see here if you've done that and i uh, the doctor or the clinician said uh, crush the stone you then gonna turn this knob yeah as you turn it so basically you're pulling the sheet or the basket inside with the use of this uh, knob basically we're using the mechanical mechanical little trip door because the stone is big the stone is really hard so if we fail using the mechanical little trip door uh, the next one it would be EHL yeah but hopefully we will catch the stone and we will uh, hopefully uh, crush it okay so if I turn the knob it will go straight all the way down here yeah but it doesn't happen all the time sometimes the the mechanical little trip tour or the basket will snap and then you're stuck okay but that's how you use the mechanical little trip tour we're gonna show you the next 
uh, on the next video how to use the emergency mechanical lead to trip tour because this mechanical lead to trip tour it doesn't work perfectly all the time so with anything there's always a backup okay but for now that's how you use the mechanical lead to trip tour okay everybody happy so for the purpose of this video i'm gonna open again the basket so for, for you to do that you're gonna put this the the ratchet to off okay so you can open the basket there you go so the doctor will ask you to close the basket and procedure finish okay thank you very much i hope that you learned something from this one if you have any question put the comment down below so my colleague said to to show you how to remove this so once it's out of the patient so you can actually just uh, you know out of the patient so press this one the there's a button here the disengage our uh, mechanical uh, little trip to a basket okay and then you need to unlock in here so this counter clockwise now remember we did it clockwise to lock and now clockwise uh, anti-clockwise sorry and then you have to press this button yeah so basically it disengage the mechanism inside it when you press it it goes like that yeah which means this is free all right so that's it guys i hope you learn how to use the mechanical little trip toy okay so this guys needs a lot of practice it doesn't happen all the time so now it's for you. it's now the time for you to practice okay thank you very much